it's a socially responsible thing to do. I, I also think that this is a, my um, responsibility to society to be here. I believe that these animals, all animals on this planet deserve respect. Um, they have brains, they have eyes, they have families, they have feelings, they have nerve endings. There's really no reason for this. We should all just be vegan and give our planet and our other creatures that share this planet with us their respect. Animals are sentient beings. They feel, they have families, they feel love. And there's absolutely no reason why anybody needs to eat any animal products or use animal products in their life. Humans are supposed to be, you know, consider themselves to be better than animals or more thoughtful or be able to feel compassion. So everybody should be more compassionate. It doesn't matter if, if the animal's local or from, from far away. They're not here. Animals are here with us. They're not for us. And they still get slaughtered in the end just in the same way that any other animal does. And it's absolutely not necessary to eat animals, so why would you? Well, I'm here because um, I, I'm against factory farming, first and foremost, and of course the um, horrible slaughter. Um, but I think that it's uh, really important to put a, a strong emphasis and educate people about factory farming because these animals live in hell. The pigs are intelligent, other, all the mammals are intelligent, pigs are especially intelligent. You're eating this stressed animal that went insane through the hell that they lived in um, over so many years that's bound to affect you. The reason why I'm here today, it's just natural for me to join a social justice movement that it's increasingly uh, worldwide spread. And I think that this is the most important uh, challenge that we're going to be faced with. When we're going to have to accept that we don't need uh, to slaughter intelligent beings, uh, sentient beings. And here I would like to point out that, uh, you know, broccoli and celery, even though, yes, they have a life, uh, they don't scream and they don't look at you in the eyes begging for mercy. I don't believe in eating animals just because I love them so much. And, um, yeah, I haven't really, like, preached my opinions to others, um, but it's what I believe in. Um, I work nearby and actually see the slaughter trucks going by on the way to the slaughterhouse and I look inside and I see the pig's eyes and their snouts and like the um, scrapes on their skin and um, I don't know, it just uh, makes me very sad. I have not eaten pork since I was probably 13 years old and it was merely just starting because of my love for pigs. I wanted one as a pet and I thought why would I eat my pet? So that was my initial start with that. And I just through the years of doing plenty of research on my own, I just believe that animals that are 600 pounds, 500 pounds, they're complete vegetarians. Why do we need to eat them to survive when they don't need other ways of getting protein from animals and mammals? I'm a vegan because I find out that I can't abide by cruelty. I can't see the animals being hurt. This is too much. It's time to change the world. Mm -hmm.